We are going to have uh, time for questions now. So if we have any question from the student section, we ask that you raise up your hand. The hand over there. Good morning, sir. So I read from Exodus chapter 23, verse 25. It said, And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Sir, this morning I learned from uh, teaching that if someone is born again, he enters a healing covenant with God. Sir, I want to ask this question. Is it possible that when someone is born again, before maybe that person is born again, the parents are idol worshippers, and somehow he was en- a covenant was entered on his behalf before the person grew up. So if such a person grows up and he becomes a born again Christian, can this covenant still, the covenant entered on his behalf, can it still work on him? Because I, I stayed with, I'm staying with uh, some brethren and then uh, we were talking about healing. So as we were talking about healing, they said if someone is born again, and he is in such a covenant, such a person still needs to be prayed for so that such covenant can be broken even someone is born again. And I argued with them. But sir, I want to ask, is it true? Only be remu bere latino exodoriketa le logon esa e karon din. Logon e tiyo kaba e kwe e nyo si maso li walonron yin. On wo si busi on nje e re ati o me re. E nyo si mo aron kro la anre e re. On wan bere re kwe. Ni no e koti anro yi. On kwa wawi kwe. Ti e ni an ba ti di e ni igbala. O ti wano majye mo yi mo la rada. Pe lo alonron. On wan ni anfe bere ba e wi kwe. Kani ala igbagwa lo bie ni yon. Ti a wun obye ni ya ti wansi ji ala ikba gbo e boye wansi wun ni mo le kan kwe lo satani. Ni to riye ni ya tabi wansi fi yon tore fun satani. Tabi wansi ni e je kan lo ri a ye ni ya saji ikba la re. Ti a ni eba wa deni ikba la. E je ti a wun obye re ti ba esu je. Tabi wansi ma jem ti wansi ba esu da. Ni to ri re nye. Se yosi ma zi ya ye ni ya. Wano ntou fuso kon pare ni kwe. A wun gwe lodo a wun ala kan. A wun wun soro ni kwa akba ro lono la ti kwa wama ni ele ra. Awon yen wa so wi pe bi eniyan ba wa nu oru majemu be tabi ti won ti ba esu mole nitori aye eniyan tele iru eniyan ni lo pe ki won gbadura fun ki majemu yen mo ba se ninu aye re mo wa bere pe nitori pe awon jiyan jo se otito ni ru oro be le se be in exodus chapter 25 ninu exodus ori karun de ni ogun or rather chapter 23 ori keta le logun and he shall serve the lord your god and he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. And you see my soul, you are alone, you. And what you put your jail, at your mail, you may see my own, you are alone, And there shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in the land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. O bere kaki yo se no. Ben ni ki yo yagan ni le re, i yo jo re le mi okon. Obviously the Lord had a covenant with the children of Israel. Daju daju, Allah ron ni majem kwe lwa wa ma Israeli. And we need to understand that as a result of that covenant, a lot of blessings came upon them. O ye ko wa yu wa kwe ni tori majem wi yi, okwa lo kwa ibo kwa miran lo wa si nwa yi wa. And as long as they remained in obedience serving the Lord, the blessings of the covenant will be theirs. Ni wa gba ti wa ba si te si wa ju la ti ma gbona. You see the condition there, you will serve the Lord your God. In 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verse 14, it says, And the Lord said unto Moses, Speak unto 
and give unto Solomon my son a perfect heart to keep thy commandments, thy statutes, thy testimonies, and to do all these things, and to build the palace for which I have made provision. David was an Israelite. David is your Israeli. He had a son Solomon. Solomon. And now he was praying for Solomon. Solomon. That something will happen. So that the blessings of the Lord will continue with Solomon and Solomon will be useful to the Lord. And this is the request he made. Give him a perfect heart. Let him keep your commandments. Let him observe your ways, your testimonies. And that you will do all these things that are supposed to be done. All that is summed up up in serving the Lord. First Chronicles chapter 28 verse 9. And now Solomon my son know the God of thy father and serve him with a perfect heart. And with a willing mind. For the Lord searcheth all hearts and understandeth all the imaginations of the thoughts. If thou seek him, he will be found of thee. But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever. Nitori Oluwa, ama wa gogo aya. Osi ma gogo e te irono. Bi wa ba sa peri re, wo ri suban. Bi wa ba konsile, on wo ta onno, titi lai. Now from the statement of David to his son. Nino, oro David is your mare. This tells us very clearly that the covenant it's not automatic. We must observe the conditions of the covenant. And so it says, Obey the Lord, observe His way with a perfect heart and a willing mind. If you seek Him, He'll be found of you. If you forsake Him, if you forsake the ways of the Lord, then He will cast you off, then David said, forever. We come back then to Exodus chapter 23. And ye shall serve the Lord your God. You cannot serve the Lord until you have given your life to the Lord. Because the people that were not born again, that were living in sin, and they came to serve and to worship the Lord. He said, when you come to appear before me, who has required this of your hand? He said, when you make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Then he counseled and commanded them. Wash make you clean. Put away the evil of your doing from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do well. Come now let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be scarlet, they shall be white as snow. They will be like crimson. They will be like wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. So you can see that when we talk of serving the Lord, He requires that you repent, that you are born again, that you are living a life according to the word of God. And then as you are living in that word of God, it says, He shall bless thy bread. Now we know that there were 
children of Israel that became saved. Even when Moses was still alive. In the case of Miriam, leprosy came upon her. That means that even after we are born again, we keep on in obedience to the Lord serving the Lord to be able to enjoy the benefits of the covenant. We know that Korah, Dathan, and Abiram, we know that they rebelled and sudden death, judgment came upon them. They were Israelites. The covenant was for all of them. But you see, they did not fulfill the uh, condition of the covenant. And then there were times when the children of Israel began to grumble. And a plague struck the whole camp. And they began to die. And Moses said, Up, oh, Aaron, take your censer, make a sacrifice, stand between the living and the dead. You see, when the children of Israel did not stay in the covenant, there were a lot of things coming upon them. And all through the Old Testament you'll find that, that a lot of evil things came upon the individuals that did not live according to the word of God. Now, our young brother wants to have understanding on an important matter. What's the relationship between what the parents have done and what the children have not done in relation to keeping them healthy and keeping them sound? Our young brother said other people were discussing and he argued with them and said, No, it cannot be like that. No, it must be like this. Now, as we talk about children and we talk about parents, First of all, let me tell you about the natural part of it. Then there is the spiritual aspect of the question. Do you remember when David committed sin with Bathsheba? Do you remember that the woman became pregnant and delivered a baby? And David loved that child very much. David is and that child had not committed any sin. He was just the product of the relationship between David and Bathsheba. David had done very bad things. Number one, he committed adultery. Number two, he killed the husband of the woman. And then eventually even took the woman to become his wife. And a child was born. But the child didn't know anything about what David had done. We'll say the child was an innocent child. And David loved this child very much. But God pronounced judgment upon David. And you see you have done is not right. And therefore judgment will come upon you. And the Lord struck that child with sickness. And David prayed and fasted seven days. And God will not hear that prayer. And the innocent child died of that sickness. Therefore, number one, we know there is a connection between the parents and the children. 
And God decided that that child in particular will not leave. Now, that's the natural aspect. You see, there are things that we parents do that affect children. Take a mother, for example, is pregnant. And this mother uh, started smoking and drinking. There are some natural consequences on the pregnancy on the child yet to be born. Take a mother that is pregnant and she had a particular sickness and then goes to the hospital and the hospital, the doctor, not knowing the condition or not being very careful enough, administered a very strong drug on that pregnant woman. Although the woman may be cured from her own sickness, that strong drug may affect the fetus, may affect the child that is still inside the mother. And you may find that when that child is born, there is deformity. A part of that child may not be well formed. And it, is, it is no fault of that child. But there is the law of sowing and reaping. That therefore the actions of the parents in a natural way, in a scientific way, but logical way, may affect the children that are to be born. There are natural consequences. Now, the spiritual aspect. Suppose a mother or a father or the parents have been given a child to the devil. And they have made a covenant with the devil that this child belongs to you. And they made sacrifices to seal the covenant. They made some utterances to seal the covenant. They made some incisions and marks to seal that covenant. Covenant. For they kill God's animal to seal the covenant. Remember, a covenant has two parties. Although this child, innocent child, didn't know anything the parents were doing, he was not a party to the covenant. But they brought him into the covenant. He was the subject and the object of the covenant. And the parents handed over the child unto the, unto the devil. And normally the devil, that's what he wants. Because what belongs to God, he likes to usurp God's authority and take what transfers belongs to God. And you know what he told Jesus? He said, bow down to me. All these kingdoms of the world have been handed over to me. And you know what it says in Second Corinthians chapter 4? It says the devil, the God of this world. And and Jesus said, The prince of this world cometh and has nothing in me. When did the world become the property of the devil that God, God was the one that created the world? When God created the world, He handed it over to Adam and said, Have dominion over it. 
spirit. But Adam sold it to the devil. Adam and search, and you know, he bowed down with Eve, and then it came into the hands of the devil. And Jesus said, A covenant had been made. God, the, the devil now, is the prince of the power of the air, is the God of this world. It has been handed over to him. And, and the, the devil himself said, All the kingdoms of the world, they are handed over to me. If you want anything there about that, I'll give you a little. So it's God who created that little child. But he put that little child in care of the parents. And the parents handed over that child to the devil in covenant. And the devil knows what has been handed over to him. And the devil is still holding on to that. Now, our young boy has become born again. What did he do in being born again? He didn't touch anything that the parents did with the devil. All that he touched is that, Oh Lord, I have been stealing. I will not steal again. I've been uh, having girlfriend. No girlfriend again. I've been smoking. I will not smoke again. I've been doing this. I've been doing that. Please forgive me. He dealt with the issue that concerned himself. Of the covenant that anybody made with anybody. And, they say, and Satan still saying, Well, you can be born again. That's between you and God. Your soul can be redeemed. But they already made covenant with me that you will not marry. That you are given to me. And that uh, when you get to this age, this is what I'll do. You are my property. Go and repent. Go to church. That's all right. But there is a covenant. And this child is not touching covenant. It's not touching anything. All that this child is doing, I will not steal again. I will not smoke again. I will not uh, fight. I will not do this. Forgive my sins, I want to be born again. Oh, my Korean, so that will be need that to pay there to be on top of a lot of your lawn. Motin Galitele, Ulu Adari Jimmy, Motin Yalitele, Ulu Adari Jimmy, I want a rotten monk patele, Ulu Adari Jimmy. But I want my demo, a lady, I won't be a bar, a sudat, I became a cannibal, a sudan to read it. Go song, I can't find it. Nitorina is our one, Koburu, Nitipe called that to be called Los Osimo Yonda, Red Martin, Ali Rock and Red Father, so when it imagine what I will be at our journey, Pain Global only, Rock of Eta Boni, Raya Fe, Tabin Global Fe, you are the Bai, Martin Way for Ferry, Bobo Magia Munya to one male, or Fulada and Nibat to that, any Bala, Bobo Magia Munya could sing that in the parade. If it is just on the side of the Lord alone, that's very easy and simple. But the devil is holding on to the fact that this is what your father told me. This is what your mother told me. Your father, your mother gave you to me, made a covenant with me, and you have not done anything about it. And so when a child like like that gets born again. If he knows of any covenant, if he knows of any agreement, if the parents tell him that, ah, you are going to church, you are going to church, what we have already decided before you were born, this is what we said, this is what we did. Now that child knows there is something I need to deal with. I've dealt with my own part, my stealing, my drunkenness, my smoking and all that. See what my parents are telling me. I must deal with this one. First Chronicles chapter 4. Reading from verse 9. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez. Saying, because I bear him in sorrow. The child Jabez when he was born. There were sorrowful things surrounding the bar. As he was growing up, he realized that things were happening that uh, brought sorrow. And the mother told him the 
story. But mama re wa so itan na fun. This was the condition surrounding when you were born. O nkan to sele ni nigba ta bi o. That's why these things are happening. You think kawo ye tin sele ni. Even the name we give you, don't you understand our language? Ah, oruko ta so eye gan o mo pe ile lawo kan to so mo loruko ni. Did you understand that when you hear this name in our language, this is the meaning? Se ko yo wi pe to ba ti gbo oru oruko bayi itun mo to ma nje ni nile de wa. So that's what happened. Now in verse 10, yes, I can wa. Jabez called on the. Yes, he pe oro un o ko loju tu o wa yi oro aye re pada ni pati to lorun lo olorun si bo kon fun. Now it's in the same area with uh, children that have disobeyed and have offended their parents when they were very young. O kan na lo sele pelu awon omo ti won sa igboran si awon obi won nigba ti en wa lewe. And those parents became angry. Awon obi yen inu wa bi won lopolopo. And in their anger. Ninu ibi no won. Because you know there are times in the family. O mo igba mi wa ninu ebi. Take a father for example. Ka fi baba sa pere. And this father may be had two wives. Boya baba yi o wa ni iya mi iyawo meji. And the one of the children of the women Maybe felt that uh, the father was not treating his own mother very well. And with the kind of uh, rebellion that teenagers have, the child came from school. And uh, he felt that why is this uh, man treating my mother like this? And he decided to fight it out through the father. And as he became insulting and rude, the father then looked at the child and said, uh, "That's how uh, your children will do to you. You will not have settled home." And uh, the child just said, uh, uh, "That is uh, your own. Uh, My own will not be literate uh, marriage." Uh, and then the child now grew up. And now he says he's even born again. Now he says he's married. And then a lot of things are happening. No matter how he, he goes this direction, that direction, every direction, he sees that there is no settlement in the home. And he just feels that when I'm not a Christian. I don't understand why these problems are there. Do you remember that Jacob, when he was about to die, he called his firstborn Reuben. He, he looked at him. He said, This one, unstable as water. He went to the bed of his father. And he went to be with one of those women. He laid a curse on him. You know, there, there are many, many things that happen in life. That, uh, you know, after people grow up, they just shrug their shoulders and say, no problem, no problem, there is problem. Now when you come to the Lord, you know, if you know that some things like that have happened, either there was a covenant made by your parents that sold you into the hand of the devil. Or it was a curse from uh, from maybe one of your parents or the elder. When you come to the Lord, you will deal with the problem. And you can deal with that problem. I said you can deal with that problem. There are other people who are in the world who are not Christians. They cannot deal with the problem. But when you are a believer, you can deal with that problem. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. Isaiah 10 27. And it shall come to pass in that day that his body shall be taken away from thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. 
ati ajaga re ku le orun re a o si ba ajaga na je nitori ora pupo tabi nitori ifanororoyan this is one of the reasons why god gave power and authority to the church e di gan ni e tabi okan ni ni idi ti olorun se fi agbara ati asen fun ijo we don't have the time to go into detail a o la fa lati lo yanju re le yoko kan you see there is a major difference between the church and israel o je mo pe iya to to lagbara lo wa la rin ijo ati israel and there are problems that the church needs to deal with that Israel did not have to deal with no there are problems that the church now has to settle but uh, Israel did not have any necessity of settling such a problem awon isoro kan wa to je pe ijo nisisin won lati yanju wa laye to je pe awon Israel ti won wo ni lo lati yora won le ni pa you are talking of the church you are talking of people that are called out from gentle nations from idolatrous background from uh, making covenant with the devil from uh, mami wata and all that the members of the church they are people that came away they came out of all those backgrounds to come and serve the lord so ri pe ijo oni awon ere eniyan ti a pe jade lati inu aye inu aye ti won si tin bo awon abori sa awon ti n ba ye mo jalo awon elemi buburu ni won jade ko laarin won tori be ni a se ni opolopo wa la the children of israel when god brought them out of the land of egypt he even told them the kind of food they will eat the kind of marriage they will have how they will make their farm how they will not worship idol and as long as they were keeping to all those things many of the children they didn't know any bad thing but in the case of the church now you have a lot of people that are coming from bad 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 evil background and when they come in with a lot of these problems you need to deal with the problem to ba ran ti ta won mo sele pe nigba ti won jade kuro ni le gbiti olorun ti le so fun won de bi pe iro nje ti won ma je bi won se da ko won awon nkan ti won yo ma se gbogbo awon ilana yi ni olorun fi fun won ti won ba de ti npa awon ilana yi mo opolopo inu awon mo won ni o ti e mo itan ajalu tabi bi kankan so gba ni ti israeli ani ti ijoba yi to je pe lati inu ebi to lubi awon alagbaro koko aye ni opolopo wa ti jade di ni ebi to ni opolopo ese lati this is the reason why god gave the key the authority the power to the church i told you either that they made a sacrifice to seal the covenant mo so fun e ta ju pe yala ko je pe won se iru bo kan na iru bo kan lati fi se didi ma je mo na and then they made an utterance saying this person now belongs to you there are two things there that are very important to that covenant one the sacrifice they made two the words they uttered now the covenant is supposed to be broken because uh, now Christ has made a sacrifice that higher sacrifice nullifies the lower sacrifice ni tori pe christ ti wa se irubo to ga julo irubo to ga julo yen o ti wa ba irubo ti o to nkan yen that's why they overcame him by the blood of the lamb is the higher sacrifice that annuls that uh, cancels that destroys the lower sacrifice o so pe won ti se gun re nipa ejo do agotan iyan ni pe ma je mu eleyi ti o ga irubo to ga julo eleyi ti jesus ti se yen o lo wa ba gbogbo ma ebo ti o to nkan lo ba je two they made an utterance when they were making the covenant e keji ni pe won so awon oro kan jade nigba ti won si ma je mu na and you need a higher word to cancel the lower word o wa ni lo oro to to ga lati pa oro keke and therefore you take the very word of the lord himself wa wa mu oro olorun fun ara re where the word of the king is is there is power there is authority and now you have the key that whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven that is they have uh, made this person to just be roaming about he will not see it inside uh, any home uh, she will marry this one and leave and go to another place and go to another place and go to another 
another place. She can never be tied down to a family. She will never stay inside one home. Now, you bind what they have loose and say, a higher word cancels the lower word, get married, sit down. Until what you say, me we pay any one back home and see that you look or come back to me. So, but it did be by you, you need to learn what to loss or don't come around. Onti wa se ni koko sa ma ti le oko kan bo si mi ran ko mo ni e bi totoro ni se se yi ohun ti wa ti tun yen iwa wa de pe oya joko si le oko re the one they are bound in sickness the one they are bound in poverty the one they are bound that she will, he will never make it he will never progress you lose nothing and say go free anything what it dey sin why son anything what it dey sin no e ri ja e ri mo iwa wa di wa wa turu eni na si le pe ma lo ni omi ni ra now after you have done that lei ba to ba ti wa se lei there is now something you need in your own heart o nkan wa to ni lo ninu okan re you know those people that make the covenant so ma wa ti wa ma nda ma je mu ka when those parents handed over that child to the devil ni ba ti awon obi yen ti an fo omo yen lesu lowo you know something o ma nkan kan de actually believe won gba gbo ninu okan won that child now will be controlled by the devil pe esu ni o ma sa ko so omo yen lai lai so why those parents will call the child e di ni eta won obi yan se ko omo yen they will say whatever you read in the book that one is book but uh, the one we have done the believe with strong conviction that nothing they have done with the devil that nothing will stand e di ni e ti wa fi so fo pe ah on to ba wu ko ma kan nu we iwe ni yen so gbe ta wa ti se yen won gba gbo pelu idani loju to lagbara pe eleyi o ti sun ni se come look at the spot of the idol something the shrine where we made you to kneel down where we gave you over go anywhere go america go uh, britain go japan where if you don't listen to what we're saying we have said it already they believe implicitly what e pe pe ah o je wa wo oju bo ori sata ti daraje mu yen ni oba lo america oba lo london e to wu ko se ni be soka soka won won fi gba ti won so yi go Now you have come to the Lord. Ni bayi what you are what the higher sacrifice cancels the lower sacrifice. Irubo to God you Lord o ti ba irubo ke ke ke. The higher word or operates on the lower word and removes the lower word. Oro ti o God you Lord o wa si se lori oro ke ke re o ba lo. Now faith in Christ cancels faith in Satan. E gbagbo ninu Christi a ma pa e gbagbo ninu Satan irun. Immediately you are prayed for and you yourself you have opened your mouth you said I'm no more in that thing I do not accept anything anymore like that oh lord change my life and latch my cause let there no be be not evil against me anymore you believe in your heart more than they are believing their own covenant and you'll be free in Jesus name let's say kese ti abagbadura fun won ni won gba pa ninu okan re ni wa ti gbagbo wi pe ni bayi o ise go ti de ko si ba no je mo ko si osimo oluwa yo so aka mi di ni nla lese kese be to ba ti gbagbo be wa do mi ra loruko jesus christ has died for you already christ is ku fun ona the word of the lord gives you assurance oro olorun lo mu oni da you believe today you are going to see the glory of god ti wo ba gbagbo lo ni wa ri o go olorun he says will serve the lord o ni eyin o ma se oluwa the lord your god oluwa olorun he will bless your bread o yo bu si and he will bless your water yo bu si omi and then he will take sickness from the midst of thee o yo ti mo And he says nothing shall cast their young. And the number of your days I will fulfill. He says if you diligently hearken unto me. To observe and to do all these things that I have commanded you. I will put none of these diseases upon you. Which have brought upon the Egyptians. I am the Lord that he let thee. And then he tells us. That he. Right on the cross. So, glory be to him. And on the tree. And it have become the so that we might be righteous through him. Ya ba le di olododo ni pa. By whose stripes ye were healed. Ni pa na. And it am oyin lara da. Today you can be healed. Lo ni o le ri mo lara da. And you will praise the name of the Lord. Wa sin ye oruko Oluwa. Bless the Lord oh my soul. Fi buku fo Oluwa e wa. All that is within me. Ati o gbogbo tin be ni mo. Bless his holy name. Fi buku fo oruko re mi mo. He bless all thy iniquities. And so that he gbogbo He all thy diseases. Can he not do it today? I said, can he do it today? 
Christ up and let us pray. Whatever covenant the Lord can remove it today. Whatever yoke the Lord can break it today. Whatever thing the evil people of the world have said any curse. The Lord can remove it today. Trust in the Lord, believe in the Lord. If you are not born again, if you are now a child of God, if they have given you into the hands of the devil before, if they have made a covenant on, on your behalf before, you now open your mouth and tell the Lord, I reject that covenant. I reject that covenant. All those evil things I refuse. I now belong to the Lord. I am now a child of God. You devil, I do not belong to you. I cancel that covenant. I remain with the Lord now. The, the blood of the Lamb. I am free. For the blood of the Lamb. I am free. By the anointing, the yoke of my life is broken. The yoke of my life is broken. I am free. I am free. I am free. I This is the time to pray. You know the families you are coming from. You know what your parents have done, what they are still doing. This is the time for you to come out of that thing. For you to declare completely, totally for the Lord. For you to disagree with all those sacrifices. For you to be covered by the blood of the Lord. And for you to know that the key has been given into your hand to reject the devil, to reject that covenant, to destroy everything they have done. The higher word in your mouth cancels the lower word of covenant they have made. The higher sacrifice sacrifice of Christ cancels the lower sacrifice they have made. A robot Christ is over the law. What if bad boy boy robot wants to say? This can be a special day in your life. That the devil will not have any hold on you anymore. You break that covenant. You destroy that covenant. You cancel the effect of that covenant.
Jabez prayed unto God. Jabez is that rat for Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Ni oruko Jesu ni agbadura. In Jesus' name we pray. Ni oruko Jesu ni agbadura. As we pray now, you will have to believe the Lord. Bi a se gbadura bayi o ye ko gba Olorun gbo. Remember the greatest sacrifice of Jesus cancels any other sacrifice. Ra ti pe e bo aru fe aru da ti Jesus se o ti pa gbogbo e bo yoku re. The scripture cannot be broken. There is nothing anybody can do against the truth, the word of God. The higher word of the King of Kings cancels the words that your parents or anybody might have said in any covenant. Faith in God, faith in Christ, is greater than the faith that your parents had in their juju, in their idol, in the devil, in the harbalist. Igba goni nu olorun, igba goni nu Jesu Christi, o lagbara, o nipa ju gbogbo igba go ti awon obi re le ni ninu orisa, ninu ogun tabi ninu esu won. The Lord has a final word in your life from today. Olorun lo ni gbo lohun aso ka gba ninu aye re. Amen. Amen. He will give you the expected end. Like God changed the life of Jabez and turned everything around, He will turn your life around. Tonight, today you can start afresh. Begin a new chapter of your life. Forget everything of the past. Let a new thing begin in your life. Please lay your hand on yourself as we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because of the keys of authority you have given to us. You said, Upon this rock we will build your church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against your church. And the gates of hell cannot prevail against any single member of your church. And so I come on behalf of all your children here today. As you have given us the key. And you have 
are told us whatever we bind here on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we lose on earth is loose in heaven. You said if there is any yoke, that the yoke shall be destroyed by the anointing. I bring every one of these your children before you. Every brother, every sister, every young person, every old person. Any covenant that has been made against the progress of their lives, any covenant for the devil, any covenant in idol worship, any covenant in occultism, any covenant by the side of the river, any covenant anywhere by the authority that you have given, I stand against them now, I break them, I destroy them, I remove them out of their way in Jesus' name. <laughs> Bobo Majemo, Kim Majemo, to what he da, buy it to a bail leda, buy it to a bow for Rufuda, buy it to a bow goda, buy it to a bow suda, a two and a la bana tabilati o me, or Lua Mo Badra, Bobo Majemo, Mo Bajaba and Yoruko Jesu. Oh Lord, I pray that anyone, that the people of the world, either because something happened, or their parents offended those people, or it was a fight in the village, or any circumstance at all, that because of that, anyone here this day, they put any curse on anyone here. Oh Lord, I come before you now. And I come with all your authority. And I come against that cause. And I command now. All those causes, they are removed. And they are destroyed. In Jesus name. <laughs> Any incurable disease they are planted in anyone. Any kind of barrenness they are planted in anyone. Any bad luck they are planted in anyone's life. Any lack of progress they are planted in anyone's life. Any kind of a marriage problem they are planted in any family. All the evil things, all the works of darkness, all the utterances of the enemy. Oh Lord, I stand in the faith that you have given. Oh Lord, I say, all those things, they are destroyed, they are broken, they are removed. I pray that you remove the curses from them in Jesus' name. <laughs> Tabi ami osi, ninu aye wa to nba wa kiri ni gbogbo oju aye wa, tabi ai ni ba le okan ati le to toro, Oluwa mo gbadura pelu ipani ororo yan Olorun, ipe gbogbo iru ego be, a fa won tu ati ba won je loruko Jesu. In the families where they said there will be no child, O oh Lord, I pray, open the way, give them children in Jesus name. Ninu e bi ti awon eni aye ti pinu pe won o ni ro mo gbejo mo gbadura pe iru inu be ki e si inu won ki o le ayo ko so nu won loruko Jesu in families where they cause them as said they one person be dying every year every year every year i cancel that thing seven free in jesus name ninu e bi ti won ti fi se pe yi pe iku rewe rewe lodo odun lodo odun le ni ko ko mo ku ninu won in places where they have said they will be beggar, they will not have anything. They will be living from hand to mouth. Oh Lord, that kind of cause, that kind of havoc and evil, I remove it now. Prosper them and provide for them in Jesus' name. <laughs> I pray for the young people that have any kind of disease in their blood, any disease in their bone, coming from the kind of a, a generic thing, a genetic thing in their parents. Oh Lord, I pray that you do a recreative work. And I pray that you will touch them now. Heal them in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for that person that has the epilepsy, I command right, right now, you break that epilepsy, you destroy that sin, heal them, deliver them in Jesus' name. 
nje ni oruko Jesu aro wa rata na mo gbadura pe ki e mu kuro ke ba je patapata ni oruko Jesu because on anyone here as e go pe go ni na ye ko mi ti on anyone here aro ka ron ni na ye any sickness or disease on anyone here aro ka ron ni na ye ni ko oh lord i pray all those things that are not coming from you coming from the devil coming from agents of satan oh lord i pray they are removed even now in jesus name oluwa mo n gbadura pe gbogbo nkan won yi ti ko ti ode yan olorun wa to je ti ode osu ati awon eran te re lo ti wa oluwa mo gbadura pe ki e mu won kuro ni oruko jesu i pray that a new chapter will begin in every life today mo n gbadura pe bere otun yo so da ni oruko jesu will begin today o won tun yo bere lati oni mo prosperity will begin for everyone i seek yo bere for you in and help for everyone you will start in your life and fullness for everyone go ya ti mo lo le yo bere some progress for everyone i say yo di ati pe ki yo bere for me for everyone I pray Lord there will be children in families that have been buried. And every negative thing the people of the world with the devil with the demons and all their cause have done everything is cancelled your people are free today in Jesus name. More than those evil people believed in their covenant with the devil will believe in our God. Our God will never fail. His word will never fail. He has promised good concerning everyone here. And goodness and mercy will follow everyone. And you will keep them until that final day. When they will enter into the very glory of the Lord. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus name we pray ni oruko jesus ni agbadura